In this lesson, we're talking about the difference between the past simple and the present perfect. And specifically, we're looking at the two sentences, I already ate and I've already eaten. Now, of course, you need to notice the structure. So you need to know how to form the past simple and the present perfect. So just keep that in mind. And let's talk about the meaning of these two. So we use the past simple with a completed past action, right? This action is complete. I already ate. That is a finished, completed action in the past. Now, let's talk about the present perfect. Here's what you need to keep in mind. The present perfect has a many different uses depending on the context. In this lesson, we're specifically talking about comparing these two sentences. So in this specific context, the present perfect can be used for a past action with a present consequence, okay? There are other ways we use the present perfect. We're not going to discuss those. We're specifically talking about this one meaning of past action with a present consequence. I've already eaten. So as you can see just from their definitions that they can both be used with a completed past action. The difference is the present perfect, present. There is a connection to the present, okay? So keep that as your memory aid. Present perfect, present, connection to the present. With the past simple, that connection to the present isn't there. One other thing you need to keep in mind is that a native English speaker is not a grammar expert. A native English speaker is going to use these two sentences in this specific context they're going to use these two sentences interchangeably and there's not going to be a difference in meaning. So when a native speaker says, I already ate or I've already eaten, there's no difference at all. If you ask them, why did you say this one and not this one? They're not going to know because they don't study grammar, okay? And they're both acceptable, so just keep that in mind. A native speaker is going to use them interchangeably with no difference in meaning. But let's talk about that subtle difference in meaning when we say that the present perfect can be used with a past action that has a present consequence. What does that mean, a present consequence? So let's just think about that. I already ate. In the past simple, just remember, completed past action. It's done, it's over, I already ate. Now, when I say I've already eaten, there's some sort of connection to the present. So you can always think of it in your head as I've already eaten, so now, okay? I've already eaten, so now, because connection to the present, I've already eaten, so now I'm not hungry. So now, I don't want a piece of cake. So now, I don't want to go to that restaurant with you, okay? I've already eaten. But keep in mind that so now, we don't verbalize it. We don't say it out loud. It's just implied in the context, okay? So let's take a look at a few more examples. I could say, I talked to my boss. Just a completed past action. Or I could say, I've talked to my boss. So what's the connection to the present? Maybe I've talked to my boss, so now I'm going to leave. Maybe that's just the connection to the present. It could be anything. Again, we don't verbalize that, it's just implied. How about this one? I checked the mail. Just completed past action, I checked the mail. Or I've checked the mail in the present perfect. I've checked the mail. What's the connection to the present? I've checked the mail, so you don't have to. That could be the connection to the present. One more example, I booked the hotel, completed past action. Or I could say, I've booked the hotel in the present perfect. I've booked the hotel, so now we're going on vacation. Maybe that's the connection to the present. So now I'm excited. Remember, we don't specifically say it, it's just implied. And also, in all of 
of these examples in this specific context, a native English speaker is going to use them interchangeably without a difference in meaning. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, now you're really sounding like a native English speaker now when you can use these two verb tenses interchangeably in this specific context, right? So of course, leave your example, one sentence using the past simple, one using the present perfect, put them in the comments below. And remember, they both have to be with the completed past action, just one of them has a present consequence. I can't wait to read your examples in the comments. Bye.